since I guess we talked last, it's we finished off the season and uh, I was able to go to the World Championships in Sochi. So that was a good experience to kind of get accustomed to the rink and see what Sochi was about. And then going into this year, uh, it was a lot of focus on the Olympic trials in December. And but uh, there were still some World Cups, and I managed to get a gold medal in, uh, in Salt Lake City, and actually that was my first World Cup win, so that was pretty exciting. And uh, at the trials, at the Olympic trials here in Calgary, I finished second in the 500 meter and third in the 1,000 meter, so um, my chances of going to the Olympics are pretty good, and uh, yeah, I guess that's, that's kind of a quick, quick update on where, how things have gone, but uh, yeah, it's been all of a, kind of a whirlwind for sure. Yeah, the Calgary one, that was the one, uh, how long, was that going to January or was that closer to now? The Olympic trials were in December, so they were December 28th, uh, so didn't get very much chance to enjoy Christmas, but it was well worth it for sure. So what was the, been the greatest thing about that? I mean, we, last time we talked, you were really excited about being able to compete in Calgary for yeah. the family. Uh, what have you taken away from these competitions? Um, I think the, the biggest thing I took away from, uh, for sure, the Olympic trials and uh, the way you know things happened in Salt Lake was dealing with some of the pressure that came with being a medal hopeful and um, you know Olympic hopeful and dealing with that pressure because there is a lot, especially when it came to the Olympic trials. I could barely sleep the night prior and I could barely eat the day of. So uh, dealing with that and I think dealing going through that process made me a better skater and. Um, yeah, and being able to celebrate, you know, the, the Olympic trials with my friends and family. They were all here to watch, and uh, it was very, it was a pretty special moment for me. It's good preparation for the actual thing, then. Eh? Uh, yeah. Did that, uh, give you any anxiety or nervousness about going into the Olympics? Um, you know, for for the way I look at it, the Olympics is kind of like the bonus round for for myself. Uh, the Olympic trials were very stressful, but you know, looking at the Olympics, it's the highest, you know, highest level. Of competition that you can go to, you know, I've been throughout my career. I've been striving to, you know, go a bit higher, go, you know, age class nationals, national championships, junior worlds, and you know, finally at the Olympics, and it's kind of all, all the pressures, all the hard work, and all the pressure is off now. Now I can kind of just enjoy the games for what it is, and hopefully, you know, put up a good result. Perfect. Then um, going into the Olympics, what do you have to do between now and then before the actual? Uh the actual games? I think just the, the plan right now with my coaches and myself um, going into the games is just to sharpen all the things that we've been working on. You know, you're not going to, you know, make huge gains in the time from when we qualify for the games to the, the games. It's only a month. So it's the month is being used to just, you know, sharpen everything and make sure all your technique is good and you're, you're primed to go to the games. And um, so it's going to be a lot of rest and a lot of technical stuff, but um, you know, this is again the the fun part of you know leading up to the games. But then uh, going into the games, what are you most anticipating right now? I think the thing that I keep thinking about is walking into the opening ceremonies and you know looking out into the crowd and the, feeling all the excitement for sure and seeing my parents there. I think that's the one moment where I think I'll realize it's you know my dream has kind of become a reality, but. You know, it's uh, you know meeting the other athletes for sure in the village will be an amazing experience. But like I said, I haven't been able to you know think about that stuff because there's so much going on right now that I need to stay focused and make sure that the preparation for the games itself are you know done before I even think about all that stuff. And then maybe on that line, then maybe you haven't thought about this yet. Um, is there anything that you've seen about the competition? How tough will it be to go up against people that you know that you've competed against already? Yeah. In the other games? I think uh, the 500 meter is going to be super competitive. Uh, just looking at all the trials and especially how the World Cups went this year. I mean, through the first. Uh, two World Cups, there was four different winners of the 500 meter, and you know there's only been one guy to, to repeat and have more than one win this season. Season, so it's going to be an exciting race for sure. But um, you know, it's gonna, that's what makes it fun, and that's what sport is: is you know, expected, unexpected, and uh, hopefully you can deal with the pressure. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I guess the final thing is, like for your Canadian fans, your Calgary fans, what should they be looking for coming up into this? Uh, I think hopefully I can just, uh, the excitement of the games is something in itself and one thing that I kind of took from Vancouver and one of the biggest reasons why I kept skating for this long is that whole experience of the Vancouver games and how much it inspired me to 
you know, pursue my, my goals in speed skating and uh, hopefully I can kind of give that back to, you know, the Canadian, the Canadian fans and uh, hopefully inspire the next generation of speed skaters and athletes in, in general.